This is the camera I'm currently using. But this is the camera I wish I had. Hello, my name is Darren Alf, and I am a video blogger, or a vlogger. Since 2001, I've been riding my bicycle around the world, and since 2007, I have been teaching people like you how to conduct their own incredible bicycle touring adventures anywhere in the world. And I've done this through my website at BicycleTouringPro.com, through the books that I have written about how to conduct your own bicycle tours, and through the videos that I create here on the Bicycle Touring Pro YouTube channel. Now as a video blogger who rides a bicycle, I need a unique sort of camera in order to document my trips. I need something small, something lightweight, something that shoots in high definition, something that preferably has a flip screen so that I can see myself when I'm recording my videos, and ideally I would like a camera that has a mic input so that I can add an external microphone to the camera which will help me uh, to block out some of the wind noise that might otherwise be created when I'm riding my bicycle. When you ride a bicycle, even if there is no wind being generated at the time, you're creating sort of a self-generated wind as you push yourself through the air. So there's almost always wind noise in my videos. I thought that this trail was going to be paved the entire way, but that's definitely not the case. Still, it's really nice. So I've been looking for a camera like that, something that will do kind of everything small, lightweight, has a flip screen, shoots in HD, and will allow me to add a microphone with a windscreen to help me block out the noise. Unfortunately, I have been having a very hard time finding the best camera for my particular style of filmmaking. Now believe it or not, my very first vlogs were all shot on my smartphone, but I very quickly realized that my smartphone wasn't going to give me the best videos for my channel. And so I very quickly upgraded to this particular camera. This is the Canon G7X Mark II. And this is a very good, high quality, point and shoot camera, which can be used to take still photos as well as video. And this camera has a lot of good things going for it. It's small, it's discreet. You could put this in your pocket and walk around town and no one would even know that you have a camera on you. It's relatively lightweight, although it is a little bit heavier than other point and shoot cameras out there. It has a flip screen, which is great, so you can see yourself uh, when you're talking to the camera. It shoots in HD video. It does not shoot in uh, 4K, but it does shoot in high quality uh, HD video. It has built-in stabilization, which for me as a bicycle vlogger is very, very important. A lot of the shots that I get with this camera are from my bicycle as I'm riding my bike, going over bumpy terrain and such, so that built-in stabilization helps to make my filmmaking look a whole lot cleaner than it would otherwise. And this camera opens with the touch of a single button. There's a power button up here at the top. You just click that button, the lens opens, and I'm ready to shoot. And as a video blogger who rides a bicycle, this is incredibly important because I need to have one hand on my handlebars while I'm riding my bike and the other hand on my camera as I'm shooting. I cannot reach down and take a lens cap off, for example, and keep riding my bicycle at the same time. So this camera allows me to reach down, grab the camera, and turn it on with a single click and immediately begin shooting. And this is something that I really enjoy about this particular style of camera is the fact that the lens opens automatically and I'm ready to go with just one click. Now, as great as this camera is, there are two things that I dislike about this camera. The first is that because the camera opens with a single click of a button, what happens, and what happened to me, is that I accidentally hit that power button somehow when I put the camera inside my bag on my bicycle. And so the lens opened up on the camera while I was riding my bike. And as I was riding, the camera was being jostled around a little bit, and the lens hit up against the side of the bag that it was in and scratched the lens. So now there's like a cloud that I'm shooting through whenever I shoot with this camera. And you can see it, especially in bright sunlight. Um, there's kind of, it looks like there's just like water or something on the screen, but it's actually because I've scratched the glass on the front of the lens here. I've also put a small chip in the glass for the very same reason. So there's a chip and a scratch simply because this camera opened up automatically somehow inside my bags while I was traveling. 
traveling. The other thing that I don't like, and this is probably my biggest complaint about this particular camera, is that there is nowhere on the camera to plug in an external microphone. And this means that all of the audio that's collected when you're shooting video is collected through this small built-in microphone up here at the top of the camera. And this is a good place for a microphone generally if you're just like a normal vlogger maybe, because the audio is being collected whether you're behind the camera or in front of it. And that sounds great, but for me as a bicycle traveler, this is a very bad place to put the microphone because when there is wind, it sounds really, really bad. And I've tried putting like little wind screens up over here, wind socks, pieces of foam to block out the wind noise, but nothing has ever really worked. They either didn't block the wind or they blocked the noise so much that you couldn't hear me talking very well. So this built-in microphone might be very good if you're in a quiet room or just standing out in nature and not moving through the air. But for me, as a bicycle vlogger, this is a very bad microphone and it has consistently produced a lot of wind noise in my videos. Now this is the other camera that I use to document my bicycle touring adventures. This is the Canon Rebel T7i. This is a DSLR camera and it's a very good camera. It takes very good pictures and very good video. Unfortunately, this camera is very big, it's very heavy, and it's not ideal for travel vlogging perhaps, and it's certainly not ideal for me riding my bicycle and trying to shoot video while I'm riding my bike. This camera is just too big, too heavy, and too difficult to operate while I'm riding my bicycle. It does have some good things going for it, however. It has a flip screen, which allows me to see myself when I'm shooting. It has a lens cap, which I can take on and off in order to protect the lens better uh, than it maybe is protected on the Canon G7X Mark II. And most importantly, there is a mic input and a hot shoe, which allows me to mount this microphone on top of the camera and get better audio when I'm shooting with this camera. So there's a lot of really nice things about this camera, but because of the style of filmmaking that I do, this just simply isn't an option for me 99% of the time when I'm making my videos. And I think a lot of other travel vloggers or bike vloggers will agree that a big DSLR camera like this is just simply not ideal for the type of filmmaking that we do. Now, as much as I enjoy my Canon G7X Mark II, I have recently been in the process of shopping for a new camera. I want something that has all of the features of the Canon G7X Mark II. Small, lightweight, point and shoot, turns on with a single click of a button, shoots in HD, has a flip screen, and will also have an external mic input so that I can add a, a microphone to the camera with a big old windscreen on it, which will allow me to produce better audio when I'm shooting my videos. The problem is I have been searching and searching and searching. I've looked at every single camera out there, I think, and I cannot find the camera of my dreams. But this is the camera that I wish I had. This is actually the same Canon G7X Mark II that I showed you just a moment ago, but I've added a bracket down here on the bottom which allows me to mount this external microphone to the camera. Unfortunately, this is for demonstration purposes only because this cable here at the back is not actually plugged into anything. And that's because the Canon G7X Mark II and every other point and shoot camera out there doesn't seem to have a mic input so that you can add a microphone like this to the camera in order to get better audio. If the Canon G7X Mark II had a simple mic input on the side of the camera here, this, I believe, would be the greatest travel vlogging camera in the world. This is a camera that I would want to use to document my bicycle train adventures, and I believe this is a camera setup that any travel vlogger would want to use to document their travels. This camera that's small, lightweight, compact, has a flip screen, built-in stabilization, and an external microphone with a big old windscreen on it like this is an incredible setup for travel vlogging. Unfortunately, a camera like this simply doesn't exist. Now, that being said, I have been in the search for a new camera and I can't find anything like this. This is what I want, but I can't find it. If you know of some camera that is similar to this that would work for the type of videos that I make, 
please leave a comment down below and let me know. I'd be extremely interested in hearing your recommendations for a camera that does all of the things that the Canon G7X Mark II does, but that also has a mic input so that you can add a external microphone and a big old windscreen to it like you see here. While I've got you here, I just wanna thank those of you who made a donation to help me purchase a new camera. In two of my previous videos, I mentioned that I was in the process of shopping for a new camera to replace my damaged Canon G7X Mark II. I dropped this camera, broke the uh, lens on the front, I've chipped the lens as well as scratched the lens, which is something I talked about previously, and I'd like to get a new camera that has uh, better audio so that you guys can hear me better in my videos. Unfortunately, like I just said, I haven't found the ideal camera yet, but I have raised enough money to purchase almost any other camera that I want to buy. So thank you guys so much. I couldn't have done it without you, and I look forward to sharing my new camera with you whenever I get it. If you didn't donate to help me purchase a new camera, but you'd like to help me make more videos in the future, more travel vlogging videos, more product review videos, more how-to videos, then please go to my Bicycle Train Pro donate page at bicycletrainpro.com forward slash donate. Just go to that page, make a donation of any size, and I will give you a big digital hug. I really, really appreciate any donation that comes in. It really goes a long way towards helping me make these videos. I've made over 500, almost 600 videos now, and each video takes a huge amount of time, effort, and money to produce. So any donations that you make go a long, long way towards helping me keep the channel here at Bicycle Touring Pro up and running. If you can't make a donation or you simply don't want to, do me one quick favor. It's totally free, doesn't cost you a thing. All I want you to do is hit the like button on this video. Doing that does a lot to convince the YouTube algorithm that this is a video worth watching. So just hit that like button. And while you're there, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I publish new videos each and every week. I publish travel videos from all around the world, how-to videos that will teach you how to conduct your own bicycle terrain adventures, and I also do product reviews to help you learn which products are gonna be best for bicycle touring, tents, sleeping bags, bicycles, etc. If you wanna learn how to conduct your own bicycle terrain adventures, make sure you go to my website at bicycleterrainpro.com and pick up a copy of my book, The Bicycle Bicycle Terrain Blueprint. This is the book that people are using from all around the world to learn how to conduct their own bicycle terrain adventures. Thousands and thousands of people have used my book to learn how to bike tour, and this is the book that can teach you how to bicycle tour as well. Once again, guys, I am Darren Alf from BicycleTrainPro.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you out on the road sometime soon. Bye-bye.